Hi guys, welcome to Sunday, Sunday with a difference. We're <laughs> going to be having a little bit of worship, we're going to be having a, uh, a little bit of a message and we just want to encourage you during this time to stay focused on our yeah. God is our provider and he keeps us safe so we can let go of all fear and know that he's in control. Yeah, we wanted to introduce to you this morning Hannah, who will be doing leading us in worship. And then Steve will be bringing a word for us to share together. And each day, we're also going to be sharing just a short, encouraging word with you so that you can tune into Salt TV every day and on our Facebook page. We love you. We miss you already. Uh, let's do Church with a Difference. Happy Sunday. Good on you guys. See you next week. See you next week.
Hey everybody, oh, hey, in lockdown again, eh? Uh, that was that was pretty sudden, but uh, look, it's not a great position to be in. But uh, the first thing I want to say is, if you haven't listened to Meg's sermon from last week, make sure you do. Uh, it was a really great a great talk about walking forward in faith and not fear. Uh, it was really important for me, and I know that um, it'll be a blessing to you as well. So so make sure you do that. Um, before I say a few words, just let me pray. Dear Heavenly Father, thanks for um, the ability to, to film these talks. Thanks that we are still uh, a family, uh, we still support each other, and we know that your presence is with us 
uh, wherever we go and wherever we don't go. And so uh, we just pray for your continued blessing and uh, continued help during challenging times. In Jesus' name, amen. So this lockdown, it just reminds me that uh, things always change. We're always on the move. Even sometimes it feels like we, we're not moving very fast, but and then, and then sometimes it, it feels like everything changes suddenly and sometimes our road is straight and narrow when we get to walk with beautiful surroundings and then so, and sometimes the road is windy and we have to walk through shadow. And um, But one thing's for sure, that God's word is always a light to our path, isn't it? It is. And, um, and we know that he is not far away. So Jesus isn't uh, someone who stands at a distance and he doesn't uh, cheer us on from a long, long way away up in the, in the sky somewhere. Uh, he rolls up his sleeves and he enters our space and he walks with us in times just like this. And so I think uh, in the Bible, that's why there are so many stories. Uh, so many stories about uh, people going from one place and ending up somewhere totally different and going through challenging times and amazing circumstances. And, um, and we have these stories to, to remind us that Jesus is in our space. He's, he's walking with us and fighting for us. Uh, one of the stories I'm reminded of is uh, Moses bringing the Israelites out of Egypt. And, uh, and you know the story, you know, they're, they're slaves in Egypt and um, Moses uh, asks Pharaoh for the, Egypt, for, the, for the Israelites to be freed, but he won't do it. And God sends plagues and, and um, sends all these signs and, and finally they, the, the Pharaoh lets the, the Israelites go. The Israelites had seen so many amazing things, you know, they, they'd been slaves and they'd seen God do all these miracles and, and then they, they, they're freed and they're walking around and, and traveling for a few months and then they start to, to pl complain and grumble because food is hard to come by. And they actually, and this is in Exodus 16, they actually say to Moses, if only, if only we had died back in Egypt. And imagine being Moses at that time. You know, what, a, what a kick in the guts to Moses after everything that's happened. But I'm reminded of this story, not because that's us, because it's not us. You know, we, we've seen how God has worked through our community. We've seen the amazing things he's done in people's lives and how his presence has, has, has changed hearts. It's been incredible to see how salt's grown and changed. And we know that he, he, he's been with us that time and we know that our, that our destination is sure. And, um, and, and we know that our hearts have been molded and, and, um, and changed for times just like this. You know, we're not a community that hasn't been in training. We're not a community that um, has uh, not learnt to trust God in the past. And we will continue to trust him in, in this time of lockdown, I'm sure. It's natural for us to want to, um, want to go back to where we were or, or just want to get lockdown finished and so we can move forward. It's hard to be in that space in the middle, isn't it? It's hard to be um, no longer where we were, but not at our destination yet. It's an awkward space to be in. But this week I was reminded at Seoul, I, I turned up to Seoul on a Tuesday and um, they have a bit of a, a prayer time and, and I walked in and everyone was dancing and you should have seen Pete dance, it was, it was pretty good. But I was reminded and the purpose of it was, is that we've got to remember to celebrate and have joy. We're told in, in Philippians to rejoice in the Lord always and always is, is, includes lockdown. You know, our... Our destination is sure and our hearts have been uh, strengthened and forged during difficult times and we know we can celebrate, we know we can have joy and we know that we continue to walk forward in his favour. Um, uh, I think a picture paints a thousand words and so um, I, I think salt is a little bit like a windmill. If you can imagine a windmill on a 
on a cloudy, windy day, you know, the, the grass blowing everywhere and the blades of the windmill spinning around really fast. And it's, it's during that time that the windmill, the windmill is generating electricity or it's pumping water from out of the ground. And that's like us at Sol. In turbulent times, that is when... Uh, it, that, that, that's when we can sink deep into, this, into, into God's Spirit and He draws living water from out of us. It's in those times when, when we face trials and, and we, we feel like we're, we're cooped up inside and we're feeling uncomfortable. It's in those times that we can really press into Him and let Him revitalize us and give us what we need for the future. I'm sure we'll get through this and let's just use this time to be present with each other and you know, make sure you're calling people make sure um, you're you're messaging people make sure you're asking people if they've got what they need so let's let's uh, uh, huddle in together even though we're we're apart and I'm sure God will continue to bless our community during this time thanks see ya